Hi, I am Greg Wells, and we're at my studio in LA called Rocket Carousel Studios, and I want to unveil my newest plugin with Waves. It's called the Tone Centric, and it is my heartfelt homage to all the great analog gear that um, I've had access to as a studio musician throughout the 80s and 90s when I was working for older record producers, and I have some of it here. Uh, I love what it does. I'm talking about vacuum tubes and transistors wound the right way and what tape can do and harmonic distortion from all of that stuff. Uh, we have packaged that into one really easy to use plugin. The kind of effect sonically that I wanted to go for is not a drastic thing at all. Um, it's not EQ, it's this kind of glorious, like the thing that's amazing about tubes, especially healthy, happy vacuum tubes, and tape, um, is that there's an inaccuracy to it that actually kind of messes with the sound, but in a really beautiful way. And again, this stuff is all to taste, you know, but um, it is kind of a subtle thing, but when you hear it on everything, it becomes very noticeable. Something that I find really hard to achieve in the digital world is, the only thing I can think of to call it is depth of field. Like a, a feeling of not just width, not just stereo, but like a depth to it. Sort of this like, I feel like I'm looking into the cave uh, in a nice way. So for me, the tone-centric plugin accomplishes that. Something I should mention that was super important to me in making this plugin with Waves is that it had that added tone, that added sort of girth and kind of fatness, but that the high end did not suffer. There's a lot of plugins that do kind of a similar thing, hearkening to a more analog vibe, um, whether it's a tape simulator or something that induces harmonic distortion. But to me, a lot of the time, uh, if not all the time, it feels to me like the high end, the detail on the high end suffers a bit, and sometimes a lot. And that can be okay if that's what you're going for. I didn't want to do that with this one. I wanted it to have the same sort of kind of bigger footprint in the track, but I still wanted to hear all the clarity on top. Um, and, uh, you know, that's something that's been important to me in, in all the plugins that we've designed, like uh, even with the first one, the voice centric, where there's more clarity in the vocal, but I never wanted to lose the richness of the tone. In fact, I wanted that to be a little more pronounced. I like to hear stuff going all the way from the top, top, all the way down to 10 hertz, super low. Um, for me, this does that. It gives you a bigger sound, but it, we have not sacrificed the high end at all. Whatever was going on there is still, to my ears, is still happening. Running through a big macho transistor or, you know, everything I've been talking about, like printing at 15 ips on tape, it just gives this like extra sort of like bear hug to the sound to be able to have something so convenient that I can just pop it on to any element I want or the entire mix or all of the above. So I have opened up the uh, same session that I've been featuring in the other video series. This is the song How to Make You Happy by the amazing B. Monroe. Tone centric at one o'clock. Here we go. Bypass. This is probably going to be too much. Let's try like three o'clock. I really love how it makes things sound. So sitting here, 
and I'm listening through really good speakers. So I really, I, you know, I encourage you to like listen to something accurate where you can hear everything or almost everything. Um, what I get from it is a bigger footprint on everything. Um, I hear just more kind of like almost like a lower octave gets added to everything and kind of mixed in to it. Uh, there's a thing that happens on a great 47 microphone, a Neumann U47. Uh, the proximity, the, the however close you are to the mic, makes a huge difference. And when you get kind of like this close and then right up here, there's this deep lower octave thing that, that, that kicks in that doesn't happen when you're sort of that far away from it. But the 47 in particular has this magic thing that it does and it's amazing on the right vocal, on the right song. This plugin also does sort of a similar thing and it's hard to be more specific than that. It's just, it's the way that it, that it feels to me. Um, it's the way I hear it. So let's go to just the soloed vocal. Bypass, here is chorus two on a soloed vocal. Let's listen to just the inside kick drum mic. So that I have the two kicks routed to a kick bus here. So the tone centric right now is on that bus. I'll bypass it. Let's go to the verse two. Here's the inside kick mic. Okay, here's a bit of tone centric on that. All right, let's move on. What's another good thing that we could listen to? Well, maybe the bass guitar. Let's check out the bass. This bass track is a, is a slightly funny bass track because it's got this great plugin on it called the low air. So it's almost adding a very quiet lower octave which I felt it needed. Um, so you're really gonna hear that pronounced when I start bringing in the tone centric. But for now, here is soloed bass. This is a DI bass done very quickly. This whole track came from the song demo when we were, when we were writing it. Uh, and some things we went back and redid like the drums and I, the guitars, except for the main guitar that you hear in the verses, I redid all the guitars at least once, maybe twice. I think this bass is from the original um, Fly by the Seat of our pants songwriting demo, which is why I needed a bit of help up here. Anyway, here it is, uh, Tone Centric Bypass. Okay, Tone Centric, 12 o'clock. Bypass. Back on. Let's try a bunch of it. Let's try that now out of solo and listen for the bass in the track. So here's no tone centric on the bass. We're in bypass.
so now I think I think I've kind of shown you what it does. Um, let's go back to listening to the entire mix. And I will start with, uh, I'll turn the mix centric back on the mix bus and uh, put the tone centric before the mix centric. Um, and I'll start with the tone centric at zero and I'll just play with it, bring it in, bring it out and probably hit bypass a few times uh, just to show you what it does on the song. Okay, here we go. Starting at zero. I don't ever want to hear sorry excuses again. So dry your crocodile tears. All these words are so unnecessary. Fight it aimlessly. Suffocates in the air. I used to feel so guilty. Cause I couldn't fix you I used to feel so guilty But you didn't want to rescue I was always saying sorry Till I forgot the meaning I was always saying sorry Now I'm sorry but I'm leaving can't express enough how I love having the convenience of this sort of really hard to attain, hard to find, fatness, depth, uh, quality, musicality that comes from things like vacuum tubes or, you know, transistors wound the right way um, or the right tape or the right tape machine. It's a feeling. It's, it's really almost an emotional feeling. To have it in a, a bizarrely simple to use plugin and be able to put it on individual elements or the entire mix or all of it uh, and dial it in to taste is a huge tool for me, uh, which I look forward to using for years to come. So I hope, I hope you enjoy it. I uh, hope it makes sense to you. Uh, let me know what you think. And thanks for watching this.